everyone, Cubes here, and today we're going to let you in on a little uh, water secret here. Not really so much a secret, it's something you can just kind of stumble upon in the game. These are the bottled messages that you may find along the shores of uh, various locations here in Fallout. Uh, from what I've been able to dig around and find out is that there are six of them in the game. Uh, they do have static locations, meaning that they will spawn only in those particular locations. As far as respawning, though, I've actually not seen them do that, so uh, once you uh, do the bottle message, mini quests I call them, uh, you won't be able to do them again. Um, now the location I'm at right here is the castle and as you can see I'm just right here behind the castle over by the ocean by the, by the shore and there is a bottled message right over here. Now whenever you get a bottled message you can just go right over it. it'll be kind of you know sunken down like that. You can just go right over to it, pick it up, a little message will pop up and then it will uh, basically mark a location on your map uh, somewhere in the wa in the surrounding water. Now sometimes you do have to take a bit of a swim so if you don't have any perks or anything that uh, give you like unlimited breathing or, or you know protection from radiation in the water then these may be a little bit difficult for you. I do have the breathing underwater perks and the no radiation damage perk so these are gonna be pretty easy for me. But do take proper precautions in case you do not have them. Uh, so here's one and let me walk right over here to it. There you go, bottle message, predator becomes prey. Let's pick it up and read it. John was pulled out to sea. The fish was huge. I told him not to tether the pole to himself, but he wouldn't listen. If only he hadn't put the keys in his pocket. So we'll do that. As you can see, it starts a little mini side quest there. And as you can see there on the bottom, it has marked something on my map. And we're gonna have to take a little swim. So I'll probably fast forward through this part. All right, we're getting right over here to the location. One other thing y'all might be asking is that, uh, hey, how come your water, okay, down here, how come your water is so clear? I am on PC and I am using a mod to make it the water clear. So if you're on console and you don't have access to that mod, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you because the water is much more murky if you don't have that mod installed. So uh, here is our location and of course the little uh, waves are kind of pushing me back here. So we're gonna dive down here to this boat where the marker is, and there we are. This is pretty much what you're going to find every time you do one of these bottled message uh, mini quests, is it basically takes you to a small location like this where it has like, something like a trunk and maybe a couple of other items that you can pick up. So we've got some first aid stuff here, and then we've got a steamer trunk with a bunch of bottle caps and some other stuff. So let's loot all this, and as you can see over on the side, it has completed the quest for me. So we'll grab the rest of that. Eh, I don't need those, so it'll be all right. So let's swim on back up. Uh, again, as I'd mentioned, they are static locations, so you can actually look it up online. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly where, just in case you'd like to just kind of roam around and discover various places and various things in the game. Uh, but you can go to the Fallout Wiki, and it does give you all the locations and all the information on the bottles, just in case you don't really feel like exploring. You just want to go out and, and get them done with or whatnot. But like I said, they're just mini quests. They take you to trunks. They've got uh, some loot in them. And then once you go out there and loot those little areas, that's it. It's over. <laughs> but some of the messages are kind of neat. In fact, one of the messages, you it does have a particular reference friends in it that you may actually get if you're a little bit older in like 80s movies. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it uh, was a little informative there for you. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you don't like the video. It doesn't really matter to me. Be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos in the future and I will see you guys later.